What's going on guys? Today I am taking my car for a little bit of a drive and I figured while I'm letting it warm up a little bit, I might as well talk about some of the interesting and cool little features on the BMW M6 that not a lot of people that I've seen really bring up and so I figured I'd show them and uh, talk about the car a little bit. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ty. I do car videos, shooting, outdoor stuff, vlogs, all of that stuff. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to see some future content as right now a lot of us have a lot of time to make videos. The doors on the M6 are actually soft closed doors. So all you have to do is gently push them up there and boom, the door closes. I love that feature so much. You don't think about it like it would be a necessary thing, but once you get used to it, just like barely closing your door, it's like the nicest thing ever. And uh, also the little three little sensor on here, you can lock your car when you walk away. I just love that, it's nice. So this is what the heads up display looks like when you're in the normal comfort mode. Probably not gonna be able to see, but this is the regular heads up display you see. As soon as you go into M2 mode, or any of your M modes, you get this heads up display. And this heads up display is a full tachometer. Uh, you have your speed, you have the speed limit that you should be doing, should be doing, and uh, shift lights. So that's the tach, that uh, middle one. The shift lights are at the top the speedometer in the bottom right. If I have footage of that from my POV drive, which you can watch up here, uh, I will try to put a clip in, but it's definitely something cool. And then you can put it back to comfort mode and you've got that. But when in all efficient comfort mode and then I go into my M2 mode when everything kicks off basically and makes everything performance, that's when you get the different heads up display. And uh, yeah, again, another cool little feature on the M6. You can also go into the settings and change where this sits in terms of height and uh, I don't think about distance, but I think uh, position of the actual screen. I'm pretty tall, so I actually had to move this uh, a little bit so that it was sitting a little bit lower because the top was getting cut off, but yeah, gotta love it. Another thing on the M6 that can be pretty cool, I know it's always shown, but when you turn on your audio system, that center speaker pops up. I do think that is on all of the M6s. My car's got the Bang & Olufsen sound system, so I don't think it's specific just to that package. I think that'll be on all of them. But again, just a little quirk in the car that's uh, something extra that BMW thought about, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Another cool thing that I've picked up on in the M6 is when you go into reverse, do that, and you've got your backup camera up here. Let me see, boom, like that. You got your reverse camera, you've got your lights, so that's gonna change as you st turn the steering wheel. And then you can click on the top one, and actually you get full 360 camera, which is definitely a nice feature to have, so I can go back to regular camera. You can change the brightness and the contrast, you can turn the lines on and off. You can also turn on obstacle marking on and off. Another cool thing though in the M6 that I never see people talk about is you can click this button right here next to the uh, DCT shifter and you actually get front cameras out of the fenders. This can be super helpful when you're in a parking garage, pulling out of a parking space in a tight parking lot, stuff like that. And uh, I actually use this every so often. I don't think it's like a huge deal, but definitely something cool to have. There's a little uh, graphic here that shows if you're gonna hit something, and those are in the front fenders. The camera is actually located under the rear badge. I'll try to get a clip of that and put that in. I think that's kind of a neat way for them to hide it. So here's the rear camera down under here, and that's under back logo. Yeah, so I think that's a pretty cool way for them to hide that camera. Uh, a lot of cars you can just see it, but on the M6 you can't actually see that rear camera. Up here in the fender is where the front camera is located. So that's where those side shooters are. And I think that's all I can think of for right now. Car should be pretty warmed up. I'm gonna film a separate video. I'm gonna film a separate video uh, talking about the mods on the car. So. 
If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are updated when that video drops. And hopefully this was a little insightful. If you're looking to buy an M6, these are some of the little things that you might overlook. Not think they're necessary, but uh, I think they're just cool. The car itself, without any of that, would still be awesome. But I think those are some cool little quirks. Not necessarily quirks, but tech and gadgets on the car that make it a little bit different than most of the cars you're gonna find. With all that being said, a lot of talking, a lot of little video. As I said, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I've got some more videos coming out, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me